This video will show how to draw unit BUA for single dwelling unit. Follow the below steps to draw the unit BUA. Select unit BUA from the layer list. Draw unit BUA close polyline on each floor. If you select plot sub use as single dwelling unit in application form and while creating a new project, you cannot mark the unit as normal default flat. To mark the unit BUA, mark all dwelling units as Click the pre-DCR tab Select mark Unit BUA Splitted Tenement Now enter tenement name for splitted tenement Select all the unit BUA at once and click enter. Selecting all unit BUA polylines at once is important. This is how unit BUA for single dwelling unit shall be marked. Thank you. This video will show how to draw unit BUA for single dwelling unit. Follow the below steps to draw the unit BUA. Select Unit BUA from the layer list. Draw Unit BUA close polyline on each floor. If you select Plot sub use as single dwelling unit in application form and while creating a new project, you cannot mark the unit as normal default flat. To mark the unit BUA, Mark all dwelling units as Click the pre-DCR tab Select mark Unit BUA Splitted Tenement Now enter tenement name for splitted tenement Select all the unit BUA at once and click enter Selecting all unit BUA polylines at once is important this is how unit BUA for single dwelling unit shall be marked. Thank you. This video will show how to mark staircase railing. Follow the below steps to mark the staircase railing. Select staircase layer from the layer list. Draw polyline as per railing provided. To mark the railing, click the pre-DCR tab, select mark, staircase and railing. Select staircase open polyline for assigning staircase railing height. After selection, the assign dialog box opens. Now enter the height in meters. Click OK. This is how to mark the staircase railing. Thank you. This video will show how to draw and mark rainwater harvesting follow the below steps to draw and mark rainwater harvesting select accessory use layer from the layer list draw rainwater harvesting as provided in site plan on accessory use layer using closed polyline to mark the rainwater harvesting click the pre-dcr tab select mark accessory use and then rainwater harvesting. Enter storage tank capacity in liters. Select accessory building. Click enter. Now the RWH color changes to green. This is how to draw and mark the rainwater harvesting. Thank you. This video will show how to insert the parking. Follow the below steps to insert the parking in pre-DCR. Click the pre-DCR tab. Select insert, then parking and then car to show the car parking. Select the floor or plot polyline. Specify insertion point inside the plot polyline or floor around the polyline. Specify number of parking. For example, 1. Now click enter.
follow the similar procedure to draw the other parking such as two wheeler visitors parking do not mark parking from predecessor toolbar like mark multi level or mechanical parking default for row house and single dwelling unit use this marking only when multi level or mechanical parking is provided for the parking provided outside building line parking blocks shall be inserted inside plot and not inside the floor poly this is how the parking shall be inserted thank you this video will show what are the direction reference circles and how to draw them now follow the below steps go to the predecessor tab select insert and select direction reference circle direction reference points are the common points from the site plan to any floor plans they decide the orientation of floors and proposed work hence the position of direction reference circle is a must direction circle must be inserted on each floor of the building and its corresponding proposed work on the same place one can draw it on common areas of the building such as the lobby staircase and lift etc if the position of the direction reference circles is slightly changed then the proposed rear margin may not get captured this is how the direction reference circles are drawn thank you this video will show how to draw the elevation key plan and project title now follow the below steps take other detail layer from the layer list make one boundary or closed polyline around the details which is to be taken in the final printout for example elevation and key plan mark elevation from predecessor toolbar now go to the predecessor toolbar select mark other details and elevation now follow the same procedure to mark other items from the list such as key plan and soak pit etc now we'll see the project title marking draw rectangle above building line now go to the predecessor tab select mark other detail and then project title now enter the project title name for the other details for example proposed residential building plan click enter select other detail rectangle as project title marking and enter this is how to draw the elevation key plan and project title thank you this video will show how to draw and mark main road now follow the below steps select main road layer from the layer list draw each main road which is abutting the plot as a closed polyline with single text inside on each main road layer the road name start with its width only road width should come first in the text for example 7.5 meter wide main road to mark the main road go to the predecessor tab select mark select main road and then type of road or mark unmark default now we'll see the approved layout internal scheme road to mark approved layout internal scheme road follow the same procedure just select approved internal from the drop down now select the road poly and click enter main road should overlap with plot or main road or road widening this is how the main road is marked thank you this video will show how to draw ots now follow the below steps to draw the ots select ots layer from the layer list 
draw OTS area as a closed polyline or rectangle. To mark OTS, go to the Pre-DCR tab, select mark OTS and OTS default. As per the requirement, for example, void, cutout, V-shaft or double height, select from the options. Draw OTS on all floors, including a terrace. If it is not drawn, that area will get added to the ground coverage. This is how to draw the OTS. Thank you. This video will show how to mark the sectional atoms like slab, sunk slab and beam. Now follow the below steps. Take sectional atom layer from the layer list. Draw rectangle or closed polyline. Then go to the Pre-DCR tab, select mark, sectional item and then slab. Now follow the same procedure to mark the beam and sunk slab for toilet sunk. This is how to mark the sectional items like slab, sunk slab and beam. Thank you. This video will show how to draw the staircase start to end. Now select the staircase layer from the layer list. Make the staircase rectangle. Take polyline to draw the steps. Copy staircase steps. Again take a polyline. To mark an intermediate landing, Select Pre-DCR, Mark, Staircase and Intermediate Landing. Again take a polyline to draw a railing. To mark railing, go to Pre-DCR tab. Select mark, staircase and railing. Select open polyline for assigning staircase railing height. Now the assign name dialog box appears. Enter the staircase railing height in meters. Now click OK. Now here select yes to assign more railings and select no to stop assigning. Now go to the Pre-DCR tab, select Mark, Staircase, Normal Default or Internal Staircase as per drawing requirement. This is how to draw the staircase. Thank you. This video will show how to insert the ventilation window. Now follow the below steps. Select Window Layer from the Layer List. Now go to the Pre-DCR tab, select Insert and then select Window. Now the Window Information dialog box appears. Enter the name, for example W, W1, 
v1 or width depth and height in meters select insertion points that is start and end points follow the same procedure to insert the ventilation for toilet This is how the ventilation is inserted.